the two uh, EPs that I just released was really really hard to make not not hard to make but it took so long and it was just so many obstacles I had to go through it was like <laughs> first of all we had to record the EP three times because the first time the sound engineer had done something it was like the the headphones was bleeding through too much and the second times the engineer went to jail so we couldn't use the vocals so I had to re-record it a third time <laughs> and then I had nodules on my vocal cords so I shouldn't have kept the vocals on it but I, I also wanted to to kind of keep the rawness because the frustration I had inside I I thought it was kind of matching with the music I was very excited to release it and then it took a long time so of course you know as time goes by you want to do other things but still I decided to to release it I recently signed with Warner Music uh, because, well, partly because of Melody Festival and then they're so great at it. And also because to have my own label was taking over my music too much. I felt like, what am I doing? I'm just sitting with paperwork all the time. I should be doing music. That's what I want to do. I don't want to, you know, send press releases to people and, <laughs> and, and papers. <laughs> it feels actually really good to sign with a major label again. I came to uh, New York for the first time when I was 18 and I immediately felt like this is my home. Everything was just so real. The struggle was real, the joy and happiness, tears, everything was so real up until today. I, I love being in the States. The, but when I moved to LA, that's when I got my vocal cord nodules and so one year kind of flew away just because I couldn't talk and had to do the surgery. I can't really say that LA has been my best card to play in, in life, but New York for sure. New York has given me so much. I feel home there, yeah. But at least I am who I am. Just a regular human. But at least I am who I am. Just a regular human. I have a lot of plans for the future. I always plan too much, I think, but it's good because maybe some of it happens, you know? <laughs> probably, you know, I have written three books, so probably release the other two ones and, uh, of course, release new music all the time. A lot of people ask me how I balance my life, but um, to be real honest, I don't really have a balance. I always feel like all or nothing, and if I want to write a book, I will sit and write it until it's done. If I want to go exercise, I go two hours at a time and I, I go all in. But then, the day after, I can eat a whole jar of Nutella, so it's like, it's no balance. <laughs> but, you know, it's okay, because, you know, you go all in. And it's the same with my music, I will always go all in. It, it won't be, you know, you will see me on stage when I'm 80 years old. Don't be surprised. <laughs>